What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today I just wanted to share with you a quick look at Kajabi's website builder and my own personal website as well. Um, I've been using Kajabi for a while now, and especially for the website, I transitioned over from Wix, which was my original hosting platform. But once I knew that Kajabi actually had website editors built in, um, it was sort of a no brainer for me to transition over and essentially replicate my Wix website on Kajabi, which was super cool. But one reason I, I really enjoy um, Kajabi's website editor is because you can actually start from a pre-built template. And just like with Squarespace, with Wix, you know, they give you tons of templates. Kajabi has them as well. So let me show you what that looks like. So I just clicked browse templates. And I think the one I actually started with was called Kim. So what's cool is you can actually click on one of the templates and preview it. You can take a look at what and what, what's actually, you know, what you're going to get when you activate it. So this one has an image at the top. There's a little heading, a little subheading, and then a CTA. There's like a three column thing where you can have, um, you know, favicons and then CTAs there. A little bit more about you. Um, you can offer different services in these blocks and so on and so forth. You can have testimonials and then you can have an opt-in form there as well. So that's just one example of a template. Let's look at another one here. Let's get creative. <clears throat> so this one I actually used for a landing page, this sort of template. It's a lot more casual, a lot more upfront in your face, as you can see, very bold text, which I kind of like. So yeah, big, bold image here. They kind of give you this yellow, white, and uh, and pink sort of color scheme, which is kind of cool. And this is what this looks like. So there's still a CTA, there's still a big heading, there's testimonials here, three column thing there. And so yeah, you can kind of choose exactly what you want. And then they also have their legacy templates too. So let's look at one of these, Spark. You've got the hero section, which is very, very clean, very simple actually. Heading, subheading, image, and CTA. Again, three columns, three columns. Um, testimonials, sign up now, opt-in form. What's really cool is that all of this is extremely customizable. So now that we kind of see what the templates look like, let me show you what my website actually is built from. So here you can see that's the Kim uh, template, right? If I click customize, we can actually see the back end here. And just before we take a look at this, by the way, let me just share that I think two keys to a great website are simplicity and also contrast. Contrast, I'm mainly talking about colors. Like if you have like white text against dark backgrounds or vice versa, that's gonna make it easier for people to see, right? And then in terms of simplicity, if you can keep the CTAs relatively minimal, like you have one thing or two things max for them to do on your website, that will be better as well. Because if you confuse them, they're gonna leave your website. There's tons of other places they could be. So you wanna keep it really, really simple and then have that color contrast for them as well. So here on my website, I basically set it up so I have um, my in-depth training at the very top here is where I host my courses. It's like my storefront, right? So if we take a look at the store view, actually, you can see what that looks like. And all of this is within the website builder, by the way. So they give you separate pages within the website builder that you can access. So this is my storefront and I have all my different courses, right? I have my image at the top, a heading, subheading, and then learn more, which leads them to each separate respective landing page or sales page that talks about that product. So that's the store view there. But if we go back to the home view, which is my front facing website, this is what I have set up here. So I have my main lead magnet, which is my video workshop, um, empowering you to compose and orchestrate incredible music. And then I have an image, watch the free workshop and learn my step-by-step -step framework for composing with true freedom. So I'm basically trying to give them a no brainer incentive to opt in to watch this workshop. And of course it is an opt-in, right? So if we preview this and take a look, if I click watch the free workshop today, then they're taken directly to the opt-in page, which is a landing page with a form. So watch my exclusive workshop, and then they can fill in their information there. And I once they click this button, the CTA, they're led directly to that private page with a workshop on it. So this is the beginning of my website. I have a very clear CTA, which is what I would recommend for you as well. Then underneath, then I talk a little bit about myself, what I've done. So here's my credibility. So an image of myself, and then this is who I've worked for, the type of music that I write. If you want to learn more about me or from me, then you can uh, take a look at my courses at the very top. A couple of demo reels. So if people want to hire me for instrumental compositions or they want me to write a song for them or sing on one of their songs, they can listen to some of the music that I've written with and without vocals. Um, and then, yeah, here I have two buttons. So one, 
uh, advertises my online education, my, my, my courses, my membership, so they can learn more there. And then here is where they can hire me for freelance service, whether that's songwriting, composition, or orchestration. I do less of this these days, but I still have it on my website just in case there's a project that comes my way that sort of fits my bill that I get really excited about. And then the second half of my website is essentially all social proof. So for this section here, what clients say, this, this is for like the freelance work that I've done, orchestration, composing music, um, two people left video testimonials, which is really nice. But then these are all uh, text testimonials, as you can see from people ranging from Rumi official, who has like, you know, six, seven million subscribers on YouTube um, to other people who I've worked with that are famous in the industry. Again, it's social proof, right? Showing people that I, I know what I'm doing, know what I'm talking about. And then these are the students who have been impacted by my courses, my online education, my um, my memberships, my communities, my, my courses, again, my coaching. Uh, these people left video testimonials and I have some screenshots for text testimonials. And then here I actually have a carousel for the different testimonials that I wanted to include as well. Okay, so yeah, the second half of this website is basically all social proof. And then at the very bottom, I have one more opportunity for them to watch the workshop. Again, it's by Lead Magnet. And so it leads them again to that same opt-in page, which is uh, right over here. Wait, let me, let me open that back up one more time here. So scroll to the very bottom and it leads them right here to this page, okay? But that's basically it. Of course, you can set up your website in you know however way you want to, but Again, keep those two factors in mind, simplicity and contrast. So that's what I've tried to do. I have some brighter sections with dark text and I have some darker sections with brighter text, right? Um, so it just adds a bit of variety, adds a bit of flow and contrast to the overall site and feel of it. it I, I've also tried to make it approachable, like relatively friendly to look at and pretty approachable, you know? So I'm using kind of bright, bold colors, things that will kind of catch the eye instantly and um, People who have seen my website tell me they like it, so I, I appreciate that, and I, you know, it, it's nice to know that it works. So I would just keep that in mind. You know, keep it simple. Have one or two CTAs max on it. Here, I literally just have one CTA, and that is to opt in and watch my free workshop. But if you have other CTAs, like oh, work with me here, or contact me for a quote, or whatever that might be, you want to make it really, really prominent, really obvious for your customer to do that so that they don't get confused and then click away from your page, which obviously you don't want. So yeah, really flexible stuff. And then here, uh, really quickly, you can see the different elements that, the, uh, that the, the website builder actually comes with. So I have a text block at the very top, text and image, which is this right here, um, hero with my image and the text, three feature columns, as you can see here, I minimized it to two. But if I wanted to add a different section, these are all the different things you have available. Just basic text, two column text, three column text. We can actually take a look at it without actually committing to it. We could do a call to action, so just a button. We could do a form and text, right? So if you wanted to opt in, you can do that there and then talk about the form or talk about what the opt-in is. Hero with form, so there we go. Uh, let's look at one more, three feature cards, just like that. We saw some of those in the templates, right? And then let's see one more inline opt-in form. That's kind of nice. This is just just the just the form by itself. Pretty cool. Multi-video launch. Look at that. So video one, video two, video three, video four. Maybe these are sort of grayed out, and then they can watch a video underneath. Now let's look at one more. Maybe image gallery. Here you can see all the different images I can upload, etc. Right, and then you can also embed videos, text and videos, pricing cards testimonials, blog posts, custom section, custom code, all this stuff is possible. And that's the coolest thing about it. It's really customizable, um, but it's also easy to use. It's basically just drag and drop. Rather than having to code yourself, it allows you to get everything done just by dragging and dropping and selecting, and then just customizing your text, your branding, the colors to however you wanna do it. And that's it, all right? So hopefully that's a, that's a quick overview of the website builder. Hopefully you got some ideas. And if you wanna try building your website or, and your entire business on Kajabi, which I would highly recommend, I've done it myself for the past few years, and it served me really, really well just to have everything in one place. It's really, really convenient. So um, if you wanna try out Kajabi for yourself, I can give you an 
extended 30-day free trial by using my link down below, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. It is an affiliate link, but if you do use it, it's double the free trial compared to the 14-day free trial that they give you on their website. Uh, my link will give you 30 days, so more than double. And I'll actually give you two bonus mini courses as well when you sign up. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 Days, and that walks through how you can set up step-by-step -step your business on Kajabi during your free trial. So you'll have me alongside every step of the way to help you with that. And the other one is called Content Marketing for Creatives, which will walk you through the exact business model I'm using to put all free content into the world and then monetize it on the back end. And it's super practical, really valuable stuff. And I want to give them both to you absolutely free when you become a member of Kajabi and try it out for yourself. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next video and I'll see you soon. Take care.